The Grand Mass Ball at Versailles, an evening in June that we always look forward to. An evening of champagne, dancing, high energy DJs, authentic costumes, and literally partying in the Palace of the Sun King until the sun comes up. In this video, we're taking you to party with us while sharing some tips and hope you'll join us one year. Sante! <laughs> All right, we are getting ready for the Master Ball at Versailles. Uh, and we highly recommend that you do a little pre-party and start off with baguette bread, so you get a good base, because it's a very, very long night. Uh, and champagne, of course. Uh, we have an assortiment of cheese and charcuterie, and the ladies are getting their hair done, not makeup. I keep wanting to say hair and makeup, but but because they're wearing masks. masks. Yeah. They're just doing lips and everything. Uh, so we are two hours in, I think. Yeah. And pretty soon we're going to be getting into costume and ready to get the car to take us to Versailles. I can't jump with these glasses. And then it's party time. So <laughs> remember, start off with bread, charcuterie, fromage, champagne, sprinkle in some water, and then get ready to go. Okay? When you go to party at the palace, there is only one way to open the bottle of champagne, and it is with your safe. Okay? So, to the bar at Versailles. Gloria. Hey, so we're all here in this huge elevator with so much space. Huge Look at elevator. that. Yes. You can move so much. Go ahead and spread your oh goodness. Yes, room for the van. Getting to the chateau. Now assuming you're staying in Paris, you can Uber or take a G7 taxi, but realize you're gonna have to take a van because of the size of your costumes. Otherwise, the RER train to Versailles is the easiest and most cost effective way. Uber is cheaper on the way out there for sure compared to the end of that. We hired a private van and split the cost, which on average is about 100 euro for four people and 115 euro for six to go to Versailles. So not a bad deal if there's four to six of you. And welcome to the Palace of the Sun King. The party itself doesn't start until 11 p.m., but because you're in costume, you can get in free to the gardens to watch the Fire Nocturne Show, which has fireworks and flamethrowers in the back gardens all set to music. It's a wonderful experience to get you ready for the party. One good idea is to get here early enough to take some photos out in front of the chateau. You have the big golden gates when they're not under scaffolding and everything behind us. It makes a beautiful backdrop. It is a little busy right now, obviously, because everyone's going in. We're about to go into the gardens and we're going to see if there's a better spot in the background or the back of the gardens to take pictures with the back of the chateau without as many people. But you can always take a few pictures here just in case the inside is too crowded. Uh, so arrive early, take some beautiful pictures and then go on to the second or the first part of the party. All right. Okay, so this line here reminds me of the line that now forms uh, in front of the Arc de Triomphe on the Champs Elysees, where people literally line up in the middle of the street to take a picture with the Arc. It is the same thing here just before the ball, but they're lining up to get their single photo in front of the Golden Gates. So that's a little something to think about. If you just come in queue, you can get your signature photo alone in front of the gates. And the queue is not too bad. It is currently, I think, around 9.30. Also, if you just come to the left of center, you can go right up on the gates, all here, and get your own clean photo as well, rather than standing way in the back and having all the people in the background. I think this could be just as beautiful right here versus the queue just there. Now it's time for everyone to strut their stuff and see who wore it best. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. And then it appears that there is a special entrance just for us versus those that are going in just for the garden show over there. So you'll come straight ahead towards the entrance of the gardens and we can enter here for the fireworks show.
But wow, what an experience to be in such a historical and magical place in these costumes for such an epic event. All the tourists are just looking at you in awe and it's truly a night you'll remember. Now everyone is getting ready for the fireworks show, which will end the evening for the tourists, but start the night for us. So once getting our tickets scanned up top after the fireworks show, we made our way down the stairs to the Orangerie entrance. And this is where you're going to have the bag check. Uh, and they're looking for drinks and other things. There's several people guzzling their last bits of water, hidden wine, champagne. Uh, but if you're really smart, you know how to hide the bags of wine under the ladies' big hoop skirts. We love getting in at the beginning of the party so we can walk through the entire space and take in all the decor and lighting effects. There's always performers at the entrance that you can take photos with. We also walk around and take inventory of all the food and drink prices, which honestly are a bit high, but we usually bring some snacks in of our own. For drinks and food, you need to find the tent selling jetons, or the little coins that you'll purchase for use at the food and drink bars. There's a coat check that we ultimately used later in the evening as we got hot while dancing. I think it was about two euros. There's always a large stage set up in the center of the orangerie, which is there for the choreographed dance productions that will entertain you about every 30 minutes. It's really impressive to see what they come up with every year. There's also a VIP section which includes a private area, unlimited champagne and food. And if I recall correctly, the price for that can be upwards of 400 euro. Regular priced entry tickets typically start around 115 or 125 euro. And there are some other ranges in between there.
at any point you need a respite from the dancing and the music, you can just step outside to the gardens of the Orangerie. There's usually a big fire going, there are chairs and benches, or just sit alongside the fountain and enjoy a night under the stars. We made it! Yeah. We are the real party people! As the night comes to an end, that means the sun is coming up as you exit the Orangerie. Generally, you're ushered out into another garden area for croissants, juice, and coffee, but due to possible rain, they moved it inside for us this year. It was a long but fun night to be sure. So now the question is, who finished the night strong? The guys or the girls? Oh, another party in the palace is in the books. It was a great one. Thank you for coming along with us. Please remember to like and subscribe to get updates to future videos. And as for a recap of this past year, it was great. We always have a great time being with our friends, partying in the palace. Uh, a few tips that I would say is subscribe to the Versailles Facebook page and sign up for their email newsletter so that way you're notified of when the tickets are going on sale. Once they announce who the performers and DJs are going to be, I would look them up and see what kind of music they play and make sure that it's your cup of tea. The DJs this past year honestly weren't really our style of music, so we didn't enjoy that aspect as much, but the choreographed dances and productions are always top notch. The ambiance and everything and just being in the palace was a wonderful time. So we'd certainly do it again, but if it's gonna be a bucket list thing for you, I would just make sure that you appreciate the music and the DJs that are gonna be playing that year. And if you follow us closely, then you know we are photographers here in Paris. One idea is to pick up your costumes a couple of days in advance of the party and schedule a photo session with us out at the Trocadero in front of the Eiffel Tower in the morning. And then you don't have to worry about anything on the day of the party except partying. Thank you once again for coming along with us and we hope to see you at the palace soon. Merci beaucoup, bonne fête and bon voyage. <laughs>